Hey baseball fans, how's it going? Hayden here. And in today's video, I will be going over a, well, I guess you could say more peculiar Mets player on this team. So, let's get right into it. Brandon Nimmo is the pure definition of underrated, if you ask me. Since Brandon Nimmo was called up to the major leagues in 2016, he didn't have most playing times due to being a backup alternate player, and when he would get the time out in the field and with the bat, he would suffer from injuries that, well, it would throw him on the 60-day IL, just like we saw in 2019 with a neck injury, which he was out for most of the season. We could recall how Nimmo was drafted in the first round with the New York Mets back in 2011 out of Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I'm sure if most of you watched it at that time, or just remember it happening, you would say, who the heck is the guy from Cheyenne, Wyoming, where, well, his high school didn't even have a baseball team, so that was pretty funny if you ask me, but so far, Brandon Nimmo is showing us who he could be. Starting off to say, Brandon Nimmo is the guy with a secret stat record, in you, if you ask me. Brandon Nimmo is the type of guy, well, you know, he's not going to hit 35-plus home runs in a season. You know, he's not going to be running around with his power. But all Nimmo likes to do is, well, he's an elite player for his basic on-base percentage. To quote Nimmo, I just try not to waste any bats. I try to do my job and pass in the baton. So this shows, like how much Brandon Nimmo, well, he doesn't like to waste an at-bat. So he seems to try to make, uh, you know, a more safer way to go for So a walk or basically even a hit-by-pitch at this rate. However, we could see Brandon Nimmo is starting to use his bat and make more contact with the ball. One thing that makes Brandon Nimmo such a successful player at the plate is his great sense of eye coordination and skill to remain patient up at the plate. Nimmo, well, you know, he's not going to go around being a free swinger and get overwhelmed. So this helps Brandon Nimmo very much in his favor. And I think with Nimmo learning and becoming more aggressive at the plate, this will help him hit the ball more, as stated before. Overall, taking a look into Nimmo's 2021 stats as of April 18th, Nimmo, having 28 at-bats, has 13 hits, a 464 batting average, 4 ribbies, 1 stolen base, and a whopping OPS of 1.155. Taking a look at some of Nimmo's quiet stats, which I like to call them, we could see that since Nimmo had his call-up back in 2016, Nimmo lands fifth in all MLB in the highest on-base percentage, just landing at 39.3%. Just behind top guys like Mike Trout, Juan Soto, Joey Votto, and Freddie Freeman. Nimmo also has a current record of getting on base in 23 straight games and has a possibility that he can get much higher than 23, perhaps to 40 or 50. Nimmo is improving overall as a player. Defensively, he is starting to increase his usage out in center field. Nimmo is much better with his leg mechanics and reading the ball. The only recommendation on concerns with Nimmo is he usually plays more back in center field. So this could be an issue for Nimmo, especially when it comes to basic baits, hits, or bloopers in short, uh, shallow center field, I guess you could say. But overall, his defense is getting much better, and his speed and athleticism can help Nimmo run down for the ball. Overall, I am so excited to watch more of Brandon Nimmo this season. I will argue he is underrated, and I know it's early in the season, but we haven't seen Nimmo play a full season as stated before. So, if Nimmo can continue the stretch, he could definitely land himself to the All-Star Game in Colorado, maybe a Silver Slugger Award, and maybe even be a contender for the batting average title. Brandon Nimmo is looking bright. Alrighty, baseball fans, and that is the end of this video. Please feel free to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Nimmo going ahead. Till next time, baseball fans, see ya, LFGM.